Uh, Francis, your investor talk this morning was quite enlightening about cybersecurity in general. Mm -hmm. Quantum emotion cybersecurity solutions are competitive. How, please? Well, we are competitive because we address actually one of the main problems, in fact, of cybersecurity. Uh, the core of cybersecurity is called encryption. Uh, we are trying to make encryption at, the, at, at a very high quality, but it's not the case most of the time today. Because uh, when you look at how cybersecurity works, all the seeds start with what they call seeds, and these seeds has to be pure random numbers. Unfortunately, today, these numbers are, cal are produced by algorithm, you know, special programs that are actually in your computer, on your phone, that create, of course, a random number. But as you can guess, anything created by an algorithm is not random. It's actually pseudo-random. So it means that when you work with the pseudo-randomness, you know, as create creating your encryption, you you have actually a patterns, you know, that can be guessed, you know, and analyzed by actually the hackers, and they exploit that, in fact, to predict, in fact, and to hack your encryption and your messages. So this is one of the problems. By using a pure random number, for example, like what we do using exploiting um, quantum physics, um, and we are actually starting to create encryption that is completely unpredictable for hackers. And in that way, they cannot be hacked. I think what our audience will also be very interested in, Francis, is what makes your group do this better. Okay. I mean, I would assume some of the largest corporations in the world are investing an unlimited amount of money, understanding what cybersecurity actually means. Why does your company have a competitive advantage? In addition, I mean, why are they not duplicating the same formula, for instance? Okay. Well, this company was created in our own work. You know, it was done by a world-renowned professor of physics, you know, at the University of Sherbrooke here in Quebec. And this technology was a very completely different ways to generate uh, this randomness, uh, based always in quantum phenomena because they are unpredictable. Maybe this technology and this way to do uh, created randomness has been patented. You know, we have a very solid uh, intellectual property around our technology. So we have four patents right now that have been, um, you know, uh, granted by the patent, the U.S. Patent Office. And we actually filing these patents all over the world and we're still developing further patents. So that makes our technology was one of the, in fact, when you compare it to the competition, is the most performant, you know, in, in quantum random generators that are available um, and also very robust, uh, very sturdy, and eventually extremely affordable because it's based on very simple, in fact, uh, you know, mechanism who is using the electrons, for example, as a source of randomness. And so what should shareholders right now be looking forward to in your milestones towards production and associated revenue? We have several milestones are coming. Uh, one, as I said, you know, is actually starting commercialization in, in the field of uh, uh, digital therapeutics. That's one of the most uh, big component of telemedicine. Very important because this is a space where Cybersecurity is not just a, a nice to have, it's an obligation to have cybersecurity in healthcare. And today there is a huge unmet need in healthcare and particularly uh, in digital therapeutics because digital therapeutics is all about actually trying to treat uh, and, um, and manage disease and distance. Uh, so the, the, the people that are at home, for example, don't have necessarily a very sophisticated cybersecurity systems. So we need to provide that with the platform, the digital therapeutic platform. Is that what we do? We actually, we embedded our technology in these platforms that are cloud-based platform. Okay, so when should Quantum Emotion be looking at some revenues? As we will, we expecting revenues in the, in the next few months. Okay. And of course, if we want more information on cybersecurity risks or how to get a hold of your 
product, which if I heard you properly, is cloud-based and there is hardware that comes with it. Is that correct? We, we're using different iterations of our technology. This is, you know, I mean, we have different iterations of our physical device, okay, for different markets. But we also have actually able to send our random numbers in the cloud to be basically spread all over, you know, the, the, the different markets. Or, the, for example, in the case of, uh, of uh, patients, you know, they will, the ones who will use the, the digital therapeutics platforms made by one of our partners, actually, and they will be able to be secure by the same technology. But they, they will have to do nothing. They just is in the background and they, do, they don't have to do nothing. It's already embedded there. So for all of you interested in finding out more about this quantum and I, 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 random, I think random is the key word. Is that correct? Yes, random is randomness is the way to protect yourself, you know, against uh, hackers. So for those of you who want to protect yourself against hackers, which I think pretty much describes all of us, please go to the following website to get more information. Thank you.